Hello my soccer universe. Well, after a longish break, many videos I put out today, there will be another one now on what to watch and then it goes again in the break over the weekend and we'll see where it will pick up and how I will do with the channel and other things that are going. Um, to be very honest, I know I have many ideas, but I actually want to keep my uh, rate until everything kicks off and I mean like it goes uh, mid-February and we go Champions League or Europa League and I think until I will probably keep it a little bit low. Um, it's an exciting weekend coming up because we have quite a few leagues coming uh, back that we didn't have before. Uh, we have one league, France disappearing into the Coupe de France mode, which I'm not gonna uh, look that much into it. Uh, there was a game yesterday, we'll, we'll probably briefly talk about that too. And yeah, uh, we have Bundesliga back, we have the Eredivisie back, we have the Juliper League uh, back, uh, we have um, La Liga back, and that's where we start. Let's look what's happening this weekend. Um, I think the big one is Saturday, 4 o'clock, Real Madrid-Sevilla. That's, I think, is the, if there's one game you want to watch, that's the one game you should watch. Everything else is kind of so-and-so. Uh, for some reason, Real Betis against Real Sociedad doesn't sound too bad on Sunday. There's Barcelona, Granada, you know, Granada beat them in the first game, but that was when Granada was still flying high. Other than that, I don't see now the, and I might, it might be my own mistake. Leganes against Getafe is like this uh, Southern Madrid suburbs uh, derby that's, uh, as at least some of a local rivalry there, but yeah, I think those are the games that are um, really uh, worth watching for. I think Real Madrid Sevilla, that's one I probably have to clear my schedule for. Um, in England, we also have the two games stick out for me in that one. And that is, first of all, the Newcastle-Chelsea one. And that's more of a personal reason because I saw that one way back when Chelsea and Newcastle both were contenders. In London, um, so that one, then of course Liverpool, Manchester United, um, potentially the biggest game in England. Um, so that's always worth watching. It is in Liverpool. In both cases, I would expect rather one-sided uh, games, but you know, you never know. I mean, you can Newcastle at home can do something. Uh, elsewhere, City against Crystal Palace. There was something. Yep. That could be an interesting one. I think West Ham Everton is potentially also something. Uh, Southampton Wolves, I think that could be a super interesting game. But let's see how it will develop. Now, and the Bundesliga is also back and back with a bang. Schalke Gladbach, I mean, the game of the weekend, right on Friday. I think that's what I'll be watching Friday evening. Although... As I'm very Benfica, we will see there will be a few more interesting ones. Other than that, Dortmund is playing away to Augsburg, Hoffenheim, Frankfurt is sort of local, local derby without any rivalry uh, in there. Um, Leipzig plays at home to Union, kind of an East Germany thing. Uh, Hertha against Bayern, yeah, two big cities playing against each other, but you know, with very different. Uh, Berlin is the bigger city, but Bayern is the bigger club, so. Um, yeah, and Klinsmann against uh, the Bayern, that could be interesting. So, there are some nice games, but I think the big one is definitely Schalke Gladbach. That could already set a little bit the tone for the second half of the season. In Italy, I think there's also not the outstanding tie in there. Um, when I look at it, Napoli, Fiorentina, it was a great first game, but you know, Napoli and now Fiorentina, it's a mid-table clash. Lazio Sampdoria should be an uh, easy one. I don't like that Milan is playing Udinese so early. Um, what else? Juve Parma could be something. Genoa, Roma, Lecce, Inter, yeah. <laughs> Atalanta, Spalo, Monday evening. It's also not the outstanding tie in there, that's for sure. As I said, we don't really have a game in France, but we had one yesterday, uh, which I was kind of surprised. And I I agree, I didn't check much, I only saw there was Coppa Italia, but there was a Ligue 1 match, the Monaco PSG matchup, which we just had this weekend, and now it's the, kind of the return, like which should have happened sooner. And this time it, uh, PSG gets the win. It was a rather easy win for PSG, so just to tag that on, and that's why uh, PSG now extends the lead on the top again and now everything looks kind of even again in France. 
Portugal. I am wearing Benfica and yeah, we have a super Friday in Portugal. We're first playing Porto against Braga. Uh, both of these are kind of close together and then Sporting against Benfica. I mean, the biggest game, uh, maybe it's not anymore, but it's, it's a Lisbon, the Lisbon derby. So uh, that's quite uh, exciting and that's the reason why I chose Benfica because uh, that's probably the biggest rivalry game of Liverpool, Manchester United. Mm -hmm. I just see it's it's more local, other than I shouldn't count Real Madrid against uh, Barcelona. So yeah, take your pick. Um, but it's a huge game, and there you have it. Other than that, uh, Family Cow plays on Sunday Maritimo, but there's nothing really big because all the the really big names are already playing on Friday evening. So if you want to have a long Friday, that's a good place to start. Uh, Belgium is also back with a bang because on Sunday we have Anderlecht against Club Bruges. Yes, Anderlecht is not a good team, but that's the Belgian classic. So um, definitely one to watch. I see Standard plays against Mechelen uh, Friday evening, Ghent uh, against Mugron. Uh, and where is Genk? Is it Sylte Warechem? Yeah, it's Anderlecht Club Bruges. I think we don't need to talk okay, much about that. In the Netherlands, also not the big names involved, but uh, Z against Willem Dwe could be an interesting one. We are um, PSV is playing against uh, Venlo away from home, and Ajax is playing at home to Sparta Rotterdam. Yeah, it's Ajax against Rotterdam, but it's kind of the wrong Rotterdam team. Uh, but you know, uh, Alkmaar against Willem Dwe that definitely is a game that it could be very. Very interesting. Oh, yeah, Veno is playing against Heron Vane, so yeah, also kind of an in interesting one if you're into Dutch soccer. And uh, we have two more leagues, but we go now far to the southeast. I look here the uh, matchups in uh, Turkey, and I have to say, on the face of it, nothing really sticks out as uh, definitely much to watch. However, when you look at the table, Besiktas against Sivaspor, who are the leaders in the table and actually quite with a four point distance that is potentially a big one Galatasaray is playing against Denis Lispor and yeah we have Fenerbahce and Gaziantep so maybe there's something interesting I personally cannot watch the Tur Turkish league any anyway but I have to say this round is not so great but we have another uh, interesting one of course in Greece um, Olympiakos against Aris. Yes, Aris is a little bit uh, not in the title race, but they beat Pauk. Can they get a point against Olympiakos? That might be an interesting one. Xanti Panathinaikos is also, they're close together. Pauk plays against Asteras Tripolis. So, um, could be an interesting round. <sighs> to be honest, I expect Olympiakos to win over Aris, but who knows? Um, anything can happen. So those are the games. As I said, I think Real Madrid Sevilla uh, from the top five league sticks out. Um, Liverpool, Manchester United sticks out and uh, Schalke Gladbach. Those are the games of the big league stick out and then the Lisbon Derby. I think that's a pretty big, big one or if you're more into um, the low countries then I think Anderlecht against Club Rouge. It's also an interesting one. As I said, Italy is a little bit of a letdown, but I will still watch some Italy. I'm pretty sure about that. Let me know what you will watch. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.